Well, this is a fairly large order. I decided to pick up some parts I wanted, aka boarding. Uh, I'll start with a big package so I can get it out of the way. And you'll understand in a moment. So, when ordering from places like Newark, remember to click that button that says ship only when you've got all the parts. I've got to be careful when I open this one. Okay, we have a heavy one. Come on. Get that out of the way. Oops. Yeah, probably. Edit. Okay, oops, and paperwork. When I worked a long time ago in electronics, I had a mat so that I wouldn't zap stuff. It's gotten pretty good nowadays with most components. Uh, they're a lot harder to destroy. But I figured if I'm going to be doing this for a while, I might as well pick up a mat. All right, don't cut towards yourself. Constantly being told that. There we go. So to start it off, I picked up a mat. Oh, okay, I'm going to pause for a bit. Well, it does want to curl at the edge right now, so I'll probably have to put a few weights on it to uh, get it to flatten out a bit. So this cost uh, $60.66 from Newart. And it comes with instructions on how to set it up. Mainly plug yourself into the ground of your mains and pick up separately um, a wrist strap. And this one actually came with um, the 10 millimeter uh, connectors. And of course the other end goes like that. And I'll have to figure out where to plug this in uh, for the best grounding. And the next package is a tiny one. Change my mind, I'm going to open up all the packages and lay them out because there's going to be a fair amount of duplicate uh, type of components. So this will just save some time. That's better. Zoomed out a bit. Don't cut towards yourself. Okay. Okay, people, not there. You don't have to say what. Yeah, I'm not going to help So, what I'm going to do is sort these out because I've got probably some Darlingtons and things like that in here. That's better. We'll start with the obvious one. And the price will be in the corner there. This strap. For this nice board, I 
for this nice mat that I've picked up. So that just clips into the corners there. Yeah, slap it on. And once the other end's grounded over there, uh, you'll hopefully not fry too many chips. There, everything's kind of lined up. So we'll start off with the PNP transistors. That's where I was when I decided to change the way I was doing it. Uh, these are the SS8550s. And a TO, oops, TO92 package. My notes. Uh, so this one here, uh, pin 1 is emitter, pin 2 is base, and pin 3 is the collector. Apparently it's good up to 1.5 amps. I paid uh, 31 cents a piece and I picked up 20 of them. Uh, the problem I had with my supplies is I didn't have a lot of PNP uh, related. And the next is the PN2907. That one. Same idea. Now this is good to 50 uh, milliamps. Uh, the other one was uh, 1.5 amps, and I have two bags of them. One bag contains 95, and the next bag contains a total of 5. I think I'll probably be combining them all together. Uh, you're not going to be able to read that. One, there we go. That's better. Maybe. Yeah, you'll have to believe me on the numbering on it. And again, it's just needed stock. Next is NPN transistors. I decided to go two different ways. I wanted both uh, TOs and some, okay, there we go, standard TOs, 92s. Uh, these are the BC3372. Um, nothing particularly fantastic about them. Picked up uh, 50 of them. They were five cents a piece. So, cheap. These ones, though, are SOT 23s. Because I have a whole bunch of those little boards. Real tiny. And the way the pinning pins on these go is, I believe it's uh, first on this side is one, then two, and then three is on the other side. So, SOT23, these ones are low noise, um, radio frequency trans transistors, and 10 cents a piece, so I picked up 40 of them. Next, I had actually no stocks, stock of uh, Darlington's, so I picked up, and yeah, we'll start with this one. Some PNP uh, Darlingtons. That would be this one. They were six cents a piece. So I picked up 50 of them. Uh, they're good uh, 500 milliamps. That's basically the diagram for them. Uh, the base is pin 1. Pin 2 is the emitter. Pin 3 is the collector. So I now have some Darlingtons. Considering how small everything is, I want them back in their bags immediately. Okay, these ones are MPSA 
14s. That one. It's an NPN uh, Darlington. Once again, I got two different packages. This package contains 15, and this one contains 5. I think 5 came from uh, the UK, and the 15 came from North America. Uh, this is a TO92 package. Yeah, you might be able to see it. So that's this one here, uh, 14 cents a piece. So I've probably got enough of these now since I bought 20 of them to last me a while. And some NPN uh, uh, Darlingtons. And these ones, again, SOT 23. And it's this one right here. Uh, these are good up to 1.2 amps uh, continuous collector current. So, not too bad. What am I going to use these for? haven't got a clue yet. So, this is a bit of hoarding. Uh, JFETs. Picked up... Uh, come on, open bag. Oh, that's why you're not opening. They'll all be going into little baggies. So, let's flip the page. Uh, this one here. The TOs, this one here is a J113. Oops. Not sure if that's coming through. Uh, they're very low, 50 milliamp uh, maximum uh, gate current. Uh, there's two symbols you can use for these. Uh, there's this. I haven't got a clue. Must be European. Because I've always used this one here. And they were 16 cents a piece, so I picked up 30. And since I had none, really none before, I'll probably got a life size, lifetime supply. Oh, those were uh, end channel. And these ones also are end channel. Let's see. Come on, open up. Uh, 23 again. Tiny little buggers. My hands are way too big for this stuff. And the circuit or the diagram again. Uh, they like flipping them around, draining the source. Uh, this one's only good to 10 milliamp uh, maximum gate current. And don't know where I'm going to be using those. Now, for this one, I kind of know where I'm going to use it. Picked up. Need out there. Let's flip this over. Four BNCs, 50 ohm. To go through a bulkhead. Come on. I have a specific idea for this. Uh, I got to look into it more. Um, the price difference between this and AliExpress actually wasn't that big. So, yeah, get all the pieces. And these actually look very nice quality. Let's get those 
those out of the way. Oh, those are 50 ohm ones. And I picked up some um, 6 75 ohm ones. So I'm well stocked now. Okay. Thank you, camera. Uh, this is slightly different. Uh, instead of having it coming off of here, it's got the two pins coming out on this side. So, uh, ground, or the shield area and the center pin. Hmm. That wasn't exactly what I thought I was buying. Oh well. So let's see, where's this one? I oh, can see the difference in there. But that was my resupplying. And there was way too much packaging for all of this stuff. Have a good day.